Hi, my name is Dan Collins. I'm from Aquinas College and I'm going to be talking about my quadrata project. I started this project in January and there's been many different hardware revisions to try and get this project started, none of which actually got off the ground. However, I now have this platform. This platform uses a commercially available frame, a bunch of different commercially available parts, and I've put them all together to try and create this platform. This platform should fly. Now, what is a quadrotor? A quadrotor uses four rotors, all to provide thrust. They all provide thrust relative to the center of the device, which is how you can stabilize it. This is easy to control in a regular helicopter, which you have to worry about different pitch control, the throttle, and the tail rotor to stop it from spinning. In this, you only have to worry about the thrust independently. This is taken care of by the computer in here. My project does all the self-stabilization on board. This involves reading the data incoming from a sensor on board which detects where it is in space and converts it to different thrusts to keep it stabilized. Now, the user can use an Android mobile phone to control the, the different set points, which is how you control the pitch and your the pitch and roll, sorry and by controlling the roll you can make it fly in different directions. Now unfortunately there's a serious bug in the system. This bug is with the square routing used in root mean square for the data coming from the sensor. This square root function causes the motor driver, which is responsible for spinning all of these, to crash. Now if this crashes it leaves it basically won't get off the ground at all, which leaves you with a choice. You can either have motor control or you can have stabilization. If you choose to have motor control, you can make it fly off the ground, but it will flip over and crash and burn. If you have stabilization, it'll sit there on the ground looking pretty, doing all the calculations, but you have no idea. I can fix this problem using what's called a JTAG. This JTAG plugs into the board, and you can see inside the actual computer here to see where the problem is. I'll be, you, that's what I'll be using for debugging, and to try and fix this problem. However, for this video, all hope is not lost. I'll still be able to demonstrate the major aspects of this project, and by making the choice of motor control, I'll be able to spin up all the motors to show you them spinning, basically, using all the different control aspects. First step in converting user control into flight is the Android application. The Android application takes the orientation from the user, such as the throttle control, which is on the slider, and the accelerometer data, and converts it into a Bluetooth signal. This Bluetooth signal is then sent over to the base station and the base station is an intermediary between the Android and the Quadrotor. This is because the Bluetooth that I'm using only goes up to 4 or 5 meters and because of this I need to extend the range. To extend the range I use this long range radio. This long range radio can go up to 400 meters which is plenty adequate for what I'm doing. It simply converts the information sent over Bluetooth into the radio using this microcontroller. It also implements a lock control system, so then the user can lock and unlock it by the twist of a key. Unfortunately, there's a small bug which should be easy to fix, uh, meaning that this does not send the correct data. So, in the meantime, I'm using this as the base station. This does exactly the same task. The first step is to pair with the Bluetooth module. So we pair with the module, when that red light stops flashing and turns green, that means it has successfully paired. OK, now that we have a Bluetooth connection, we're able to adjust the, th the slider, which is converted into radio pulses. This can be seen, if I put the two next to each other, you can see as I change the slider, the LED blinks. These LED blinking just sends the throttle information because as I said earlier the stabilization does not yet work. In the future it will also transmit the position data of the accelerometer. Last step is the quadrotor itself. So as I turn this, the throttle all the motors should spin. As you can see there's a few problems with the project but all in all it's coming along quite nicely. Once I fix those last few things I should have a quadrotor which takes off the ground. Thank you.